Hey, what's up, everyone? This is DJ Jose Guerrero back for Bedroom DJ Reviews, and I have some great news for you about WAV files. You can actually put album art into them, and you can have them display beautifully on your jog wheel and your CDJ 3000. So let's get to the video. All right, over here, we're back to Record Box. And as you can see, I'm on one of my file folders. And these are WAV files. I purchased these from Beatport, as you can well see. Um, right here is all the info. Now, if you want to get all this info on here, it doesn't come with the downloads. You have to enter it manually like I did. Uh, I like to have it nice and pretty for, for me at least. You know, your choice to do whatever you want. All right, so let's get to the artwork. So just go open a tab then click open to the folders, you know, so we, your source folder. Uh, generally, what I do is like I um, put everything in my external hard drive as I explained before. Here, I'm going to go to my Beeport folder, wherever that is, there you go, and go to the 2021. I had downloaded these WAV files a long time ago. I never really did anything to them. Um, so this video gives me a chance to make them nice and pretty. I've already downloaded the album art to a separate uh, folder within my uh, Beeport folder. And right there, I just clicked on that one track. And as you can see, it's still a WAV file, and you have your album art. I'm only going to do two in this video. You see on a, later on in the video that all the album art is done. I'm not going to put you through all of that, uh, including all the information that go goes along with the track. And um, you can actually do both of these, you know, from the either playlist or from your original source folder inside your either flash drive or external, whatever it is that you're using. Um, let's see, yeah. So um, as you can see, it's in the, I'm working right now on the playlist. So I'm going to do the same thing. Uh, all the information has already been put in. I'm going to go and look for the album art and then I'm going to click on it. It's going to load up. Okay. And that's this track called, uh, what, what was it called? Uh, Lilo by uh, Steffi, which uh, in a later video you'll see. You see the album art right there. Still a WAV file. This is straight from the playlist. You can do it from both sides. It reflects on both the playlist and the original source folder. Uh, I like to work straight from a source folder to make sure everything is done right. Um, again, it's just whatever you choose to do. As you can see, the album art is from both of those tracks. Then you're going to have to go and um, sync your video. Yeah, I mean, sync the video, sorry. <laughs> sync the music so it can reflect onto your external or flash drive, whatever have you. Um, you know, I've explained how to do all of this already. Um, my other video, you will see the link below on this video where you can just uh, go back and start over. As you can see, it's processing. I'm going to cut this video short because I'm not going to have you guys sit here until this is 100% processed. All right. So now we're in the source folder, I believe. Um, th this is straight from the external hard drive. As you can see, I've already done all the artwork for all those tracks that I had downloaded in 2021. Um, one thing I am going to tell you that if you are going to um, do this to previous folders, you're going to have to delete the music that's already in your collection within Rekordbox and then reprocess them, you know, like, uh, like I showed you before. Um, that's the only problem here. But otherwise, yeah, you'll have all of that. As you can see, now all of them have the album art every single one of those from that one folder and they are they are all WAV files as you can see so we have all the artwork plus information but again don't forget you have to enter that manually uh, I wish they could actually do that automatically you know when you download the tracks all that information you know track label and blah 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 blah, blah. all right here we move on to the CDJ itself we're in the Beatport folder, going to the 2021 Beatport, and as you can well see, we have all of the album art. We have some of the information that was inputted in there, um, as well as you can see the album art. That's our goal here, and all of them. As you can see, all the tracks have all of the art. It takes a second. I've explained this before. It takes a couple of seconds or a second, nanosecond. I don't know what it is, how long it takes to uh, the album art to appear, but yeah, it's there. Is there and as you will see once you load up the track onto the cdj itself you will see the album art yes waves are beautiful aren't they and they sound great don't they 
All right, so we loaded up the track Lilo by Steffi, and there it is, album art and all, right on the jog wheel. All right, that's what this video is all about. So anyways, again, Jose Guerrero for Bedroom DJ Reviews, album art for Wave Files on your Pioneer CDJ 3000, real quick, real easy. Once you've learned how to uh, make playlists and all that other stuff that I've shown before. Once again, the link will be right below for the other video in case you don't know. Um, yeah, it's going to take a little bit of time, but you know what? If you want to make it look pretty and you want it to function properly when you're clubbing out there, you know, doing your gigs, um, you know, you're probably going to have to follow this until Pioneer decides to um, fix that problem. You know, I don't know when that is. I've heard that then on some, uh, you don't have any problems with the waves, but I don't know if you could put album art or even shows or whatever, because I don't have that on. So anyways, Jose Guerrero for um, Bedroom DJ Reviews. Take care. Have a good one. And hopefully I have another video soon. I have a little bit more time, so you will see a lot more. And as I discover more and more about these things, I'll put out the videos. I'm sure somebody already discovered this. I don't know if there's another video about it, but if there isn't, hey, man, I'm glad you came here. Uh, like and subscribe. I'll see you on the next video, man.